In this video, we're gonna do a complete review and talk about what e-commerce shopping cart is right for you. So there are a lot of shopping carts out there, but most of them are outdated, not built for e-commerce, or just lacking vital features that you need in your business. So that leads us with just these three right here. So we have Shopify, BigCommerce, and WooCommerce. So first off, right off the bat, I gotta tell you, there is a difference between hosted and unhosted shopping carts. So Shopify and BigCommerce are very similar. They're both hosted shopping carts, which is what you want. Uh, a self-hosted shopping cart means that you need to either host it on your own computer or your own server, or that you need to buy a third-party server, which is much more common. Um, so you might need to buy Bluehost to run WooCommerce. But let's first off, let's look at Shopify and BigCommerce and compare the two. Very similar platforms except for, in my opinion, Shopify is much better. It has better templates, it's easier to use, much easier to use in my opinion, better add-ons and plugins that go right into it, and on top of that, BigCommerce has a limit. If you sell too much, you actually get bumped up to the next tier. So let's eliminate BigCommerce from this. So now we're left with really Shopify and WooCommerce. And before I go any further, I do have links up here and down below in the show notes. Shopify and BigCommerce, both if you use these links, you get a free, 14 day trial, or if you wanna go with WooCommerce, you are gonna to have to pay for Bluehost, a hosting service. So you can use those links up here, but for now let's go back into Shopify versus WooCommerce. So let's start off talking about Shopify. So Shopify is built for e-commerce, which is really important if that's what you're trying to do. If you're trying to build an e-commerce shopping platform, you're gonna want something that's built from the ground up specifically for those needs. WooCommerce on the other hand, is a plugin to WordPress which is made for blogging, and we'll talk more about that later. On top of that, it has a lot of better features, in my opinion, a lot of things that are just automatically built into it that are perfect for selling your products, and it has amazing apps, amazing little plugins and apps that go along with it, things that will help increase your sales. Now, WooCommerce does have some uh, plugins as well, some apps that go with it, except they're not nearly as advanced as Shopify's are. So some other things is it integrates really well with Facebook, Pinterest, a bunch of other platforms. That's one of the things I really like about Shopify is they're on top of their game. Every time a new feature comes out, if Facebook releases, now all of a sudden you can sell on Facebook, for instance, which they did not that long ago, they will release that feature. Uh, WooCommerce, since it's technically a free um, plugin to WordPress, they don't release those features quite as readily as Shopify. Shopify's entire business model is served around its e-commerce customers. Uh, they're just, they're on top of it overall. One last thing to note about Shopify is they have great customer support. If you have an issue or you can't figure out how to do something, you can give them a call and they will help you do that. WooCommerce does not have uh, nearly as good of customer support. So that's a very vital feature, especially when you're first getting started with Shopify. But WooCommerce does have some advantages as well. It is technically free. It's really not. You have to still pay for hosting, um, but it is cheaper. It is cheaper than Shopify. So if you're on an extremely tight budget and very technical, WooCommerce might make sense. Uh, another thing it might make sense is if you have lots of small stores because you'd only pay for hosting one time and then each additional store is more or less free. I mean, there's some technicalities to this, but if you're gonna have, let's say, five small stores, it's much cheaper to go with WooCommerce than it is Shopify. Another use case where it might make sense is if you're selling info project products or digital products. Um, I sell on EffectiveEcommerce.com, for instance, I sell courses on how you can start an online store, and I sell courses on Facebook ads, and I use a WordPress website and the WooCommerce plugin to sell those info products. Now, my main e-commerce stores where I'm actually selling physical products, you better bet I'm gonna be using Shopify. So it's, like I said, very good for blogging because it's built on WordPress, which is the best blogging platform out there in my opinion. I'm sure some people would disagree with that, but it's the most popular for sure. On top of that, it's not as professional. When I talk to someone that uses WooCommerce, I assume they're new to e-commerce. They don't really know what they're doing. Uh, I will say there's one exception. Out of the literally hundreds of e-commerce entrepreneurs that I know, only one use WooCommerce and he does sell a digital product. Every single physical product seller, e-commerce seller that I know either is on Shopify or wishes they were on Shopify. So you are also more likely to get hacked with WooCommerce uh, because it's self, or because you have to um, self-host it, there's a better chance of getting hacked. On top of that, I've had a lot of people that I've known in the past 
that were using WooCommerce and they said that they had some issues with that. It's never happened to me personally, but that is something to be aware of. Because a lot of the plugins need updating on WordPress, there can create some backdoor issues with that. It is also a little bit harder to customize. Shopify is much more user-friendly when it comes to customization. If you're very technical, you can still do it with WooCommerce, but Shopify is much easier. And finally, last but not least, WooCommerce is more complicated to set up. I literally have a video where I set up a Shopify store in four minutes. Super easy to do. You can never do that with WooCommerce. It would take much, much longer. I'll link that down below if you wanna see the video on how I set up a Shopify site in just four minutes. So let's talk about when you would use each platform, when it would make sense. If you have info products or digital products, WooCommerce may make sense. I'm, I'm not saying it makes sense in all situations. You still might wanna use Shopify, but I personally am using it for my digital product, my info product website. It also might make sense if you have lots of small stores and you're trying to save money. And if blogging is the main focus of your business, you also may wanna take a look at WooCommerce. Last but not least, the only way I think you should even consider WooCommerce is if you're very technical. If you are a beginner, you're new to this world, 100% go with Shopify. So 99% of the people watching this video, I highly recommend Shopify. There is a small percentage of you out there that WooCommerce might be a good fit for you. So not surprisingly, Shopify is the winner. I have a link up here. And if you use that link, I will, not only do you get a free 14 day trial, I get a small kickback because it is an affiliate link. So as a thank you, I'm gonna give you a free 30 minute consultation session to help you set up your store. No strings attached, I'm not trying to upsell you. It's merely just a thank you. So you can get the link up there or down below in the show notes. In fact, this is how I can prove to you that it's an unbiased review. I don't care what platform you choose. I highly think that you should go with Shopify, but even if you wanna go with Big Commerce or if you wanna go with WooCommerce, which you'll need hosting for, uh, you'll need Bluehost is what I recommend and personally use. If you use my link for any three of those up here or down below in the show notes, I will gladly give you the free 30 minute consultation, both Big Commerce and Shopify do have a free 14 day trial. So if you wanna test them out and determine it for yourself, you can get the, the links here. And last but not least, before you go, don't forget to get the online store success pack, especially if you're starting an online store. I have a checklist that I think is everything I've learned about starting an online store put in checklist form, things that you might not think about, such as setting up Google Analytics and your Facebook pixel right away. It has a lot of things on there you probably haven't thought of unless you've started a few e-commerce businesses like I have. On top of that, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you like this video, subscribe down below. And I have a ton more free YouTube videos coming out, tutorial videos, how to start your online store, all kinds of great videos down below. If you click subscribe, you'll get those for free, obviously. Last but not least, if you have any questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. I answer every single one, so feel free to leave your question down there. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and good luck on starting your e-commerce business.